Hello again, everybody. This is Mr. Everything, and today's tutorial video is going to be about adding tags and how to use the tags and how to remove tags. Okay, and this is really part of the administrator's abilities. These videos are geared towards members of my unit, uh, the Diving Royal House Guards and the First Royal Aerospace Squadron. But any guild leader out there can use this information to help manage their unit or their uh, guild in engine. Any engine user can use this. Okay, so the administrator or any of, any of the administrators should be able to go to the admin panel. They're going to want to go to the admin panel and want to come down to where it says settings. They're going to change the settings of their website. They're going to see these little, this little row right here where you have admin access. Okay, because there's different levels of admin access and you can assign admin access to certain individuals uh, so that they can do or perform certain tasks. And right here we have full tag management. Okay, these are the guys or these are the tags that I've created and assigned to players to give them access to the tag management system. Okay, so basically our trainers, our majors, our lieutenant colonel, the colonel, and the marshal can all have access to the tags, and they have full tag management. All right, so that tells you how to get people, give people the ability to manage the tags. Now let's show you exactly how to manage the tags. Uh, the way tag, tags are located under your user admin. So you go to admin, go to users, you go there. Okay, now a list of your users appear right here, and then a list of your tags appear right here. And if you don't have any tags, it's real easy. You just go to your custom tags and hit this, and it lets you create a tag. Okay, and all you got to do is name it something like test tag, if that's what you want to do. Uh, and then you want, and you can add uh, it, like when this tag is displayed on the page what do you want it to show do you want it to show the tag and the image or just the image or uh just the tag name where do you want it to display on the website his profile or everywhere you know uh now if you have a tag prefix like uh the rank like colonel we put col there so anybody that's been tagged with the tag name colonel will see that in front of their name uh, now this is how we create rank. Okay, let's get out of this. Just a second. Plus, you can load an image. So if you've got an image of something, uh, you can upload it. Let me using the kernel as an example. I'm going to go to kernel, right, and I'm going to click edit because that's going to edit the tag of kernel. And you can see that we've uploaded a tag image for the kernel. Uh, and you want to crop that down and resize it to be as small or as large as you want it to when it displays on the website. Like I said, if the tag name is called Colonel, he has a prefix called Colonel, so anybody that has the Colonel tag will actually show that. And I only want the tag image to show right there. I don't want the name to show. Because if you have the name, it'll like display the name right underneath it. And we don't need that everywhere. Open a new one right. right. Do I want a micro tag? Uh, if I have a if I set up a micro tag, then right beside their name, the tag will appear by their name and we don't want that not for this not for this not for this okay so when you're on your when you're on your tag manager screen uh, or user manager screen you can actually go to tag manager and uh, if you prefer to manage your tags this way you certainly can uh, and this is definitely where you would go to assign an award to your tag like we have a Thunderdome Champion, which has a ribbon that is assigned to it, but we also have a uh, an award that we give, and the award actually shows up on their profile. Okay, it's basically just a little icon that shows up on their profile, shows up that they got awards. Okay, so we're going back to the user manager. This is where all the tags are listed. It's really easy to manage it from here. Uh, we do a couple of different things in this unit. Uh, and you can you can do it a little bit differently, but uh, just bear in mind that we have a bunch of lances, and they're all part of companies, which are part of 
uh, battalions, right? And so 1st Battalion has these lances right here. So when a member joins a lance, what we do is we assign them this tag. So let's say the Alpha Lance right there has four members in it, and these players have the Alpha Lance tag in their in their tile. So, so whenever I click on Alpha Lance, <clears throat> the Alpha Lance members will show up. Okay. Uh, now these here are other tags that we have created and we've assigned them to players. If you need to remove a tag, like let's say uh, you want to remove the Alpha Lance, like maybe he's going to move over to Bravo Lance or something, you just click this little X right there and it'll remove the tag. We also assign tags not just for, you know, not just for what Lance they're in, but also their rank. As you know, we've got uh, like we have Majors, right? We have uh, certain trainings that we offer. Uh, these are the players that have, have had the wingman training. That's one of our BCTs. Uh, we also have medals that we award. We award certain types of medals from, you know, from the canon. Uh, and you can have anything that you want to show off. Every one of these have that medal. And then if you go down here to like, anything basically where you can assign any tag and then what that allows you to do is in other pages of your website you can have certain tags be the ones that show up so now i want to go to let's say first battalion okay and <clears throat> if you notice that we've got first company second company third company of first battalion so i'm going to go in and take a look at this module is how it was set up okay now it's going to show these three tags so it's going to show alpha bravo and charlie lance as part of first company and then if you come down here uh what tags do you want to show by their names well tags their rank remember previously that rank only shows a symbol and this one also says show tag images only you want to show their name, of course, what lance they're in. <clears throat> you want to show any additional tags that they might have, like maybe they're a lance leader or if they're a trainer. Okay. And you can add other tag. Uh, these aren't tags, but these are just things that you can have added. Uh, and then you can show tag group titles. And let me kind of show you what that looks like. Okay. So we're on 1st Battalion. We got first company, and then we have them broken down by lances. And anybody that has the Alpha Lance tag would show up here. Anyone that has the Bravo Lance tag would show up here. And here are the additional lance, additional tags that I wanted to, uh, I could have shown you, you know. And then remember the rank tag. There's the ranks right there, and it doesn't show up with a a, a name or anything. Super simple. Okay, well, I hope that helps you out with showing you how to use your uh, Lance or your tag system. And just throwing this out there, uh, let's say you're a, you're a fantasy MMO type uh, guild, let's say. And you could add a tag, like this guy is a, you could like tag their weapons if you wanted. Like this guy likes to use a greatsword, this guy likes to use an axe. You can give him a tag, greatsword, tag, axe. Or you could go as a little bit different route. You could even say he's a fighter or he's a barbarian or he's a wizard, right? You could tag him with those. Or in your guild, you could tag him with he's a he's a war chief. He's a he's a uh, you know he's a chieftain. He's a he's a battle master or something. And that gives you um, ways that you can identify players you're going to give them their rank and you can display them in groups if you wanted uh, they're in party one or party two you know i'm just saying and you can do it in in another any any game any game as long as you want to like assign any kind of uh any type of a label to a person you just create a tag and give it to them and then in the website you can actually display or show off different tags in different ways
All right, guys, I almost forgot to show you how to add a tag. Let's say we wanted to take a member. Uh, I'm just going to use this guy. Well, let's just use the top guy. Let's go to Deacon Blue. Let's just click on Deacon Blue. And if I wanted to, I'd go to User Action or Tag User. Well, I'm going to tag a user. I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to find the tag that I want to add to him. Let's say Ace Pilot. Okay. And it'll say, Do you want it to expire? No. Uh, if you do, how? far out is it going to expire okay and then we just add tag to user and then if you look under Deacon Blue he should have ace pilot right there so uh, that's how you add it and then to remove it you just click it delete it's gone and it's that simple all right and that was the tag system and remember we're gonna have more videos in this tutorial series you can uh, check out how to create an event you can also check out how to add or subtract from a team you can also see the warning system and how to send messages so i'll see you next time